Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel and here's how to turn a door into a MIDI controller using a Raspberry Pi and some electrical components. For this project, you'll need a Raspberry Pi starter kit, you'll find the link in the video description. From the kit, we'll use the breadboard, which basically is a way of connecting electrical components without soldering them. Of course, we'll also use a Raspberry Pi, this here is Model 3, link is in the video description. We'll also use an 8-bit digital analog converter and this component can measure voltage and turn it into 256 discrete values. We'll also need a switch for our proof-of-concept device for closing and opening the electrical circuit. This here is a potentiometer. It's basically a large adjustable resistor. The higher the resistance, the lower the current flow. I'll also use an LED, which will light brighter or dimmer according to the angle of the door. For completing the electrical circuit, you'll also need some resistors for securing the LED and the switch. And of course, we'll need a lot of wires for setting up the circuitry. This ribbon cable is needed for connecting the breadboard to the Pi. And last but not least, Here's a standards compliant USB to MIDI interface for connecting your favorite synthesizer to a Raspberry Pi. Okay, we've gathered all the parts needed, so let's begin building the circuit by placing the components on the board, leaving enough space for the wiring and the resistors in between. In the next step, connect all the components, starting with the black wires connected to the breadboard's ground pin. Then, continue with connecting the start of the circuit to the 3.3V pin. Now it's time to add some resistors to the circuit. They need to be in line with the LED, the analog digital converter and the switch. You'll then need to connect the switch and the potentiometer to the GPIO parts of the breadboard. GPIO is an abbreviation for General Purpose Input-Output. On these pins, the Raspberry Pi can read on-off switches or data sent by the other components. Last but not least, connect the breadboard to the Raspberry Pi using the ribbon cable and then boot the machine by connecting it to power source. With the hardware ready to go, it's now time for some C programming. Fire up your favorite editor and do some sophisticated copy and paste programming. Be sure to include all the libraries needed. In this example, we'll need the wiring pi, the ALSA and the standard input-output libraries and also the library for the analog digital converter. As you can see, my main routine has a number of variables assigned to the current and the last note played and also for the voltage and pitch. After initializing the external hardware, the program goes into an endless loop, reading the voltage and the status of the button. Once the button is pressed, 
the program will send a note on command to the MIDI controller, deriving the pitch of the note from the voltage read on the potentiometer. The program will also send a note off command for the current and the last note played when releasing the button. In this very simple setup with only one button, there is no way to determine the note velocity, so let's just fake it by generating a random number between 60 and 85 so the resulting melody won't sound too static. Also playing the lowest note on the keyboard will exit the loop and terminate the program. Once you saved your code to the Raspberry Pi, you can compile it by using the gcc command. Be sure to link the wiring pi and also libraries by using the minus "-l", options as shown here. After the program is compiled, launch it by entering the program name. You can now test your self-made MIDI controller by turning the knob and pressing the key, like this. In case everything works as expected, let's now involve the door. The idea here is to stick the potentiometer to the door hinge with some hot glue, so opening the door will spin it. So we can now read that angle by reading the voltage. To connect the door's body to the knob, I used a small paper clip, bending it into a shape which can slide into the notch on the knob. At first glance, this seems to work as intended. Now it's time to connect the door potentiometer to the main board with another ribbon cable. I'm also removing the switch and replacing it by a bike wire with a set of paper clips on its end. The wire is tied to door handle and the paper clips are glued to the door lock mechanism in such a way that pressing the door handle will close the electrical circuit, triggering the MIDI note on command on the Raspberry Pi. Next, I can connect the MIDI interface to the synth and the Pi using some extension cables, securing the computer with a bit of tape. After booting and testing my contraption, I found that I still had some mechanical debugging to do. On one end, the paperclip was pressing against the door frame when opening the door, greatly decreasing the amount of available notes. Nothing that couldn't be fixed with a pair of pliers, though. With that out of the way, my door controller was working and now it's time to record a song by the doors. I found that Break On Through to the Other Side was a good candidate for this project because the bass and the guitar play a rather simple three note riff throughout the whole song. The song is in E minor and it's made up from two parts. In the verse, there's a Verlitzer piano playing the bass and the guitar playing a riff. Then there's a very short break, after which the riff is repeated while Jim Morrison is singing the chorus. There's also a short organ solo, but I won't play that in this video. I began rehearsing that song by marking the position of the riff's notes with some tape on the floor. While trying to play that riff, I found the door's inertia made playing anything remotely danceable very challenging. Even with some software fixes, playing faster than 100 beats per minute is impossible without getting the notes wrong occasionally. So I decided to record the song on my keyboard sequencer in 90 beats per minute and double the speed afterwards. The original song is around 180 BPM by the way. After some more tweaking and further mechanical bug fixing, I recorded some simple bass, guitar and drum parts, which looks like this with speed adjusted to 180 BPM. And here's a dramatic reenactment of that with vocals and some guest stars. The day destroys the night Night divides the day Try to run, try to hide Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side, yeah Chase up, we here 
dug a tree there Still recall, time cried Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side Break on through, yeah And that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting. Building this was really fun, but the concept of a musical door is not yet ready for market introduction. So for the time being, if you feel like you need some Doors music in your life, you'll have to resort to listening to the Doors, uh, I mean the band from the 60s. Okay? <laughs> As always, uh, thanks for watching and um, see you next time. Bye bye and have a good new year.